A mysterious pattern emerges for 10th edition 40K Codex releases. Spiky bits. The mystery of what order the new 10th edition Codex books will, will release may be solved with an easy to follow pattern from 8th and 9th edition Warhammer 40K. Games Workshop gave us an early Codex release roadmap for 10th edition, but that only shows a small portion of the actual books to be released for 10th edition. So let's look back to 8th edition and the indexes and go to 9th to see how we can expect 10th edition to shape up. As we said, we'll start by going back to the lineup of 8th edition Warhammer 40k supplements starting in the summer of 2017. As you can see, there are already some differences between 9th and 8th edition, most notably the Astra Militarum or Imperial Guard Codex, as they were one of the last to get the new book in 9th edition. Other than that though, the start looks very sim similar even to 10th edition, as you have Space Marines, Tyranids, Chaos, and Adeptus Mechanicus lined up. However, 8th edition was more than just codexes, as they made the Psychic Awakening books to tide players over during the noticeable publishing gap from late 2019 into the summer of 2020 when 9th edition was released. The narrative expansions took place over the course of nearly two years and offered minor updates and changes to 29 factions and sub-factions, some of which, like Agents of Bile, were brand new. These books also serve the purpose of accelerating the 40k story forward as it was relatively still during the course of the edition up until this point uh, sans the Vigilist storyline. Story this also held players over until their new books came out in 9th edition. However, you had to pay for these supplements which contained more new rules for factions and as we all know, wasn't exactly the most popular option. Jumping ahead into 9th addition, the Tyranids and Necrons sort of switched places for the early Xenos armies getting the first books of the edition. Other than that, and some Space Marine chapters, they followed along fairly close to 9th edition, with the real main difference being Chaos Space Marines, which from the looks of it, won't have that long to wait at all for 10th edition rules. Either way, let's hope some of the armies don't have so long to wait, as it sucks getting to play with your long-awaited codex for just a couple of months. While Games Workshop did them a little differently in 9th, uh, they still did pl plenty of supplements. Here you can see the Caradon books, Warzone Octarius, and the Arcs of Omen books that led up to 10th edition 40k. These books added a whole host of new characters, such as the lion himself, and had a decent amount of rules inside. This also added a new way to play with boarding actions, but all of the new character rules were given away from free, considering we knew the new edition was so close. However, the main difference between these and the supplements in 8th edition is that they will have no bearing on 10th edition, as that is a complete rules reboot. Players could use their 8th edition books well into 9th edition before they were updated. So the beginning looks pretty similar to 9th as far as 10th edition goes, other than Tyranids, but they were early in 8th, so that kind of makes sense. We have another early Mechanicus book, as it does look like, once again, GW will release a separate codex for all the big Space Marine chapters. Dark Angels are first, uh, they were the fourth book in 9th edition, but this makes sense with the Lion returning. Some of the other differences uh, look to be Tau coming in slightly earlier than last time, and Chaos Space Marines will not have to wait for the majority of edition this time. So looking back, you can get a decent time frame of when your favorite faction will most likely drop. However, we assume something like Leagues of Votan will be far earlier in the edition than, th than this time, as they are now established and could be a good mid-edition release with a bunch of new units. Either way, we have a good idea of what books will be on the way through early 2024 as we barrel into 11th edition Warhammer 40k, probably dropping in 2026. 
Uh, so for the latest in Warhammer 40k rumors and the re for the rest of 9th and even 10th edition, uh, new releases, rules, updates, and more, be sure to check out the site, spikybits.com.